What is up everybody, it is Broward Chaz and in today's video I'm going to be installing the wireless mag head on my 2017 GSXR 1000 by Quadlock. If you guys like the video please make sure to like, comment, subscribe as well as share it with your friends and family. I would greatly appreciate it. Roll that intro. Peace. So guys, this is the quad lock wireless head. Um, this allows you to just set your phone on the motorcycle so that you can charge your phone wirelessly. Um, this isn't the magnetic version. They do have a magnetic version, but to me and the type of riding that I do, um, I didn't think that the magnetic version was gonna be beneficial for me to buy. Plus it's an extra like 20 bucks to get the mag. Um, I have a mag case for my truck, but uh, for the bike, I wanted my phone to be able to lock in. Um, I do have a battery tender. You can purchase a quad lock battery tender, and this video is not sponsored by quad lock, although I've hit them up thousands of times. But um, <laughs> what you're going to have to do is take off your clip here on your bike. Um, let's see if the camera will focus. So you're going to have to take off your clip on the top of your mount. Um, I believe you can still use the vibration dampener with the wireless head, but um, let's go ahead and uninstall the current mount that I have and get this wireless charger set up. So inside of your quad lock wireless charging box, um, when you open it, this was already opened by the guys at the store. I wanted to make sure everything was in there. Um, but inside the box, it comes with instructions. Um, don't really need the instructions. I know what I'm doing, but if you want to read the instructions, this is your instruction booklet. It comes with the wireless charging head. Now this is actually like heavy. Like, I don't know the weight of this thing, but this thing has has some nice little weight to it. It feels like a paperweight. Um, it is a USB Type C, um, so it comes with that. It does come with quad locks wireless USB type C cord as well as an Allen key. Um, I do recommend using quad locks Allen keys because they do not strip out quad locks bolts. For some reason quad locks bolts strip out with other Allen keys. Um, now this wiring that you do get is a waterproof wire. Um, now obviously if you just submerge it in water and leave it in water for days it's not going to work but I don't leave my bike outside and I don't like riding my bike in the rain so this thing's going to last me a pretty long time. Um, they do make an accessory I'm going to put on the screen right here. Um, that accessory does allow you to do like an on and off button um, but since this is just going to draw consistent power um, I'm just going to plug it straight into the uh, cheaper version. So previously I did kind of do like a jimmy rig setup. Why isn't this focusing? So previously I did jimmy rig a setup where I have a battery tender hanging out the side of the bike um, so that when I parked the bike I was able to kind of charge my phone while the bike was parked. But this is going to allow me to charge my phone while riding the bike. So what I'm going to do first is remove the rear seat. Um, in the rear seat there's really no room. Um, but this is what's going to somewhat allow the magic to happen. There's no room in the tail seat of these Jixxers. Um, but I do have a USB Type-C GoPro charger. Um, before I purchased batteries, extra batteries for my Insta360. Um, this is called a trackside USB connector. Um, the one that Quadlock makes comes with like an on and off button, but I mean, there's really no room for me to mount that in here, so I'm just gonna use this one. So what you wanna do now is take the, the Allen key that Quadlock provides you. You wanna come to the head of your Quadlock and unscrew your top. Now this eliminates, and actually I don't know why I just bought this red push clip thing. I wasn't expecting to order the quad lock mag head, but Broward Motorsports, this is a shop near me, called me and said, hey, we have a wireless head. Um, do you want it? And I said, hell yeah, I want it. So then that just sits on there like that. Um, the cable part, make sure that it's kind of straight and lined up with the point right here if you do have a uh, dampener. Um, and then you want to grab the top to it, and actually the black bolt looks a lot better in this thing. And then you want to set that on there. Very simple to install. Um, and you roll this down. I 
do not like that this makes this thing sit up a lot more. Um, I don't like my phone, like, covering my screen while I'm riding, especially because I do, like, Moto's vlog-styled videos now. And then go ahead and tighten this. Don't do it to spec. Just do it absolutely as hard as you can until you break it. Um, and now what I'm actually going to do is route this long USB type C cord underneath the gas tank and underneath the rear seat to the battery just so that I don't have to take off the fairings and it's just going to be a pain in the butt to do it any other way. And this will also protect it from weather. Um, so then you just plug in the quad lock piece, the USB type C underneath it. That sits in there like that and this is going to get routed underneath the gas tank, go to the battery and then I can set my foam on it my phone on it <laughs> boom turn it and it locks in so guys now I'm gonna remove the bolts on the gas tank One thing I will say that I like about this generation of Jixxer 1000 is that Suzuki put two bolts in the front tank instead of one. Now that that is taken off, um, I'm just going to kind of lift the tank and see how I'm going to route this. Um, the tank should lift up pretty easily. Um, I am going to have to take off actually the quad lock head um, so that it's easier for me to hold the tank up. Um, I normally don't have to take off the quad lock head when working on the quad lock but now that I'm doing something I haven't done before on this bike I have to take this off. I really wish now that I've ridden this bike and I've like experienced what it is, I got the R model. That's definitely my next bike. Um, just for the simple fact that that bike is amazing. It comes with ABS. It comes with Shawa, I think it's called suspension. Um, and then recently I, I got to ride with a buddy of mine that has one. Um, and that bike is just <laughs> way better than the base model, even though the base model is lighter. So a lot of you might not know what this is, and this thing is, I think, kind of rare. Um, this came on the first Jixxer 1000 that I ever owned a few years ago, um, and I kept it all this time because I knew I wasn't going to find another one. Um, but this actually holds the tank up um, for the Jixxers that have the center bolt, or for motorcycles that have a center bolt. Um, and this thing used to come in older generation Jixxer 1000s. Um, so fortunately I was able to keep this from a bike that I've had previously and I'm going to be using it to prop up the tank on my current bike. So you lift up the tank. This sits inside the threads here. This sits on the tank like this. And that sits there like that. And that holds the tank up just like your car. Older cars. So currently my battery tender comes out the side back here. Um, I don't want it to come out here anymore because I am adding the charger. So I'm going to push this up out of the fairings that it's hidden in. This is the battery tender here as you guys can see. Um, once you open this up. You can connect the USB quick connector um, like this. And then I'm just going to put some electrical tape on this just to kind of waterproof it even more. Now, I do need to make sure that this battery tender has a fuse in it, which it does. Okay, cool. So reconnect this battery tender. Um, and now we can connect the wire to the quad lock. Well, actually, I'm going to run it from the front of the bike, then connect it.
so that's up and out of the way of my shifter cool this comes up here it's gonna connect to the charger head it goes here so guys now it's time for the moment of truth um, I'm gonna give a shout out to everybody that's in this video right now um, I don't know if you guys can see on the screen um, we got TR video productions got Alvarez official Wazen, Fiaz XLR uh, Kai one Don six but um yeah let's see if the uh, phone charger works oh. set the phone on it lock it in and my phone is charging I don't know if you guys can see that I'm gonna try to get that on video my phone right now is at 45% um, whenever I put it on the quad lock mag as you guys can see well it kind of connected there but you just turn it lock your phone in and as you guys can see the green little charging emblem in the top right of my phone is charging now so now I'm gonna go ahead and tighten up the uh, quad lock mount and uh, put the bike back together so guys everybody thinks we always play around when we say blood sweat and tears go into these videos and being a person that's passionate about motorcycles but um yeah if you guys like the video please make sure to like comment subscribe as well to share it with your friends and family i would greatly appreciate it i check up with you guys in the next one peace